Our brains ache in the merciless iced east winds that knife us. Wearied, we keep awake, but the night is silent. Low drooping flares confuse our memory of the salient. Worried by silence, sentries whisper, curious, nervous, but nothing happens. Watching, we hear the mad gusts tugging on the wire, like twitching agonies of men among its brambles. Northward incessantly, the flickering gunnery rumbles, far off like a dull rumor of some other war. What are we doing here? The poignant misery of dawn begins to grow. We only know war lasts, rain soaks, and clouds sag stormy. Dawn massing in the east, her melancholy army attacks once more in the ranks on shivering ranks of gray. But nothing happens. Sudden successive flights of bullets streak the silence, less deadly than the air that shudders black with snow. With sidelong flowing flakes that flock, pause and renew, we watch them wandering up and down the wind's nonchalance. But nothing happens. Pale flakes with lingering stealth come feeling for our faces. We cringe in holes, back on forgotten dreams and stare at the snow dazed. Deep into grassier ditches, so we drowse, sun dozed. Littered with blossoms, trickling where the blackbird fusses. Is it that we are dying? Slowly our ghosts drag home, glimpsing the sunk fires closed. With crusted dark red jewels, crickets jingle there. For hours the innocent mice rejoice, the house is theirs. Shutters and doors all closed, on us the doors are closed. We turn back to our dying. Since we believe not otherwise can kind fires burn. Now ever sons smile, true on child, or fields, or fruit. For God's invincible spring, our love is made afraid. Therefore, not loath, we lie out here. Therefore, we're born. For love of God seems dying. Tonight, his frost will fasten on this mud in us, shriveling many hands and puckering foreheads crisp. The burying party picks and shovels in their shaking grasp, paws over half-known faces. All their eyes are ice. 